they're off in this Ara de Bucato Phillies trial over 10 furlongs listed and uh, Flash Bessie was away pretty well Bouquet to the outside Nashua has come across from the outside stall and is uh, covered up at the back of the field by Holly Dole just following Mukadama in the blue towards the back also is Stay Alert as Flash Betty and uh, Tom Marquand lead the way towards the turn Tom looking for a treble on the day Bouquet is sitting in second position followed by Golden Mayflower White Silks Sylvester de Souza on the outside of Ducal Crown and David Probert they are third and fourth it's a length and a half then to stay alert in fifth ahead of Mukadama and Nashua is at the back of the field as uh, Flash Betty has the advantage here just stepping on it a shade and is two lengths clear of Bouquet, stable companion of uh, Nashua. The John and Fady Goldston Phillies sitting in uh, second and uh, seventh at the moment. Golden Mayflower and Ducal Crown still racing side by side following Bouquet. And then Mukadama, Jim Crowley also looking for three on the day as they get to the halfway point. Stay alert and Josephine Gordon next in the yellow and Nashua under Holly Doyle at the back as they now straighten for home and Flash Betty has the advantage about to run past the four. Two lengths clear of Bouquet. Ducal Crown in the sheepskin noseband. Golden Mayflower, stay alert, is then driven. Mukadama is waiting and so too is Nashua. It's just pulled out now by Holly asking her to make a little bit of ground as they run inside the three. Flash Betty is driven along. So too is Bouquet. Nashua is getting there very stylishly indeed on the outside and it's now Nashua delivered by Holly Doyle to take over Stay Alert is plugging on on the inside, Flash Betty still trying, Bouquet is weak and then Mukadama but Nashua has this in the bag at the furlong pole it looks like she's two and a half to three lengths clear, Stay Alert is sprinting after the leader but Nashua from last to first and she's going to win this uh, Phillies trial in splendid fashion, Stay Alert chased Nashua home, Mukadama in third and they were well clear of Flash Betty. Looked a nice prospect at Haydock, confirms it at Newbury. Nashua wins, justifies odds on favouritism in the hands of Holly Doyle for John and Thady Gosson in the colours of Imad Al Sagar and bred by his Blue Diamond Farm. Has comfortably uh, beaten Stay Alert. Having said that, Stay Alert has run as she looked fantastically well within third place Mukadama who also travelled like a smart filly for last year's winning connections and she had a fitness edge and the three of them are an absolute mile ahead of the others who are probably more handicappers I think the front three are our stakes fillies for sure at least different trips I think yeah uh, down the line did it with the winner first of all the most impressive part of her she travelled beautifully and the Turn of foot again, she showed to come from behind to take it up two and a half furlongs out was really, really good. On one watch, I'm not sure she's screaming for a mile and a half. It's to see what you think, Nick. I mean, you wouldn't pardon Holly in the final furlong at all, but not sure. Whereas the second is absolutely crying out for a mile and a half. I'm certain beforehand the horse, it's already well at mile and a half, but certain to improve uh, for a return to mile and a half. And we'll say further in time, I'm sure, as well. This is when a winner's really impressive. Gone, it was, it was level and the race was over instantly. Um, just want to watch her again in the final furlong, see how much she's doing. It might just be that she would be an ease down, but I had the feeling that she was just keeping her up to work. And I think the second in particular and the third were maybe making him right. I'm, I'm not sure she was a mile and a half, personally. What about you? Um, I don't know, is the honest truth. I don't know. I'm going to ask the jockey and see what she thinks. No, no, that's a perfectly reasonable response. I, I don't know. I do know the second one's a return to a mile and a half, for sure. She's got a, a quite flamboyant action, hasn't she, the winner? She has. And that's something else I'll be asking the jockey about her, her suitability, if indeed they want to go that way to Epsom. What, what she is is a group filly, I'm certain. You turn a foot, she shows. This is just a company, and she's proved herself you know, more than up to that. Looking for most of the most of the ways to cut above it, so I'm sure she's a really, really high class filly. Um, what her best distance will be, well, time will show. But she's very excited. This is a nice step up from Novice Company, as you've done it in the style of a very, very good filly. But say, so I love the second. I am biased. I love the family. 
Bridget, she's lived up to her looks and her yeah, pedigree she, and some she, today. She'll improve over further. I've got, I have no doubt that Huey Morrison will be winning group races with stay alert over a mile and a half. For plus. sure, for sure. No Absolutely doubt. sure. And to be fair, we ought to mention the third. Yes, yeah, run well, travelled well. Travelled well and stayed on well. She was shooted by the mile and a quarter. I think she's improved from her win to the second Asker, and I think this is another step forward, and uh, um, they know they've got a horse who stays a mile, mile and a quarter well. Uh, John Gosling is well loaded in the three-year-old Phillies department, and of mm. course we're not too far away from seeing Inspiral make a seasonal debut. I think she's going to go to the Curra, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. I think just the Phillies came too, uh, too soon. Sad, really sad, because that was a two-year-old who, who looked to have the race. Yeah. And I think it was a winnable Guinness this year, probably, as well. Uh, very much so, and we'll find out just how good Cache is yeah. as she goes to France at the weekend for Indeed. the French 1000 guineas. She might not have to improve too much to, to win again, no. but with Inspiral, this filly, Emily Up, John, Grand Dame yeah. in the three year old fillies department. Yeah. Yeah. Master of Claire Haven is loaded. Well, the Masters of Claire Haven are loaded. Holly Doyle rides Nashua to success. We'll uh, catch up with her very shortly and find out what she made of it. Yes, Nashua's got entries in the Oaks, Coronation Stakes, and the Ark as well. Uh, that was impressive, the way she quickened up from the back. Dave, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I'm um, interested in what Steve says about uh, 10 furlongs perhaps being the limit. I thought if Holly Doyle, I don't think she had a choice, could have held on for a furlong longer and then whooshed, would have been saying how well did she um, stay on. Um, myself I think she could definitely get um, a mile and a half but um, no matter how you look at it she's an impressive filly with a huge future and she's got entries over a mile 10 for uh, 12 furlongs twice I she's in the arc as well as the Oaks yes. um, so obviously they think she's going places this uh, this summer anyway what um, a stable of riches John Golson has with his three old fillies Nashua the winner of this uh, fillies trial uh, five to six favourite for Holly Doyle, John and Thady Gosden in the colours of Imad Al Sagar. Second was Stay Alert at 22 to 1. That was a fine effort uh, in the runners up spot. Winning time of Nashua 205.55, so that was just 0.35 seconds slower than the Racing Post standard time.